Hi. Today we will see how you can fix a face that came out distorted in the photo, with the help of face detailer. And in addition we'll see that beyond our ability to fix faces with this tool, we can create different facial expressions for the same character which can be very useful in many situations. We will use a group of nodes called Impact Pack, which you can install through the manager, I will also leave a link to the GitHub page in the description of the video. Let's start at the beginning, we have a basic workflow, which you'll find in the description of the video, the checkpoint cyber realistic and in the positive prompt I wrote. Medium shot photo of a young woman walking in the middle of a park, sunny day, sharp. Empty latent, width 768, height 512 and click Q. The reason for distorted faces is mainly as a result of low-resolution images, and images where the face is a small part of the image. We didn't get a picture with a face, so let's create some more variations. I changed the batch size to 4 and see what we get. Nice, let's continue with the third picture, I quite like the sunny atmosphere and the background but you can clearly see that the face is distorted. To continue with the third image from the batch we created, we need the node image from batch. Because the first image is set to index 0, we will choose index 2. And let's bring the face detailer node. Note that we have the face detailer and the face detailer pipe, they are identical in terms of their operation. The only difference between them is how we connect the rest of the nodes to them. So I chose the face detailer and now let's see what needs to be connected to it. Model, clip, VAE, positive prompt, negative prompt, and of course the image where we want to fix the face. And to work with the face detailer we need to connect one more node called box detector, there are all kinds of box detector nodes, I use a node called ultralytics detector provider which also include in the impact pack. In the name of the model, I choose box face YOLO 8 model, I will put link to the model in the description of the video, here we have the option to add more models that can help the face detailer do a better job, but first let's see what we get. I connect a preview node to the image, and here we have the option to connect a few more preview nodes that will help us fine tune and better understand how the face detailer works, and let's click Q. And this is the result we got, you can see that the quality of the face has improved significantly. Let's understand a little how this tool works, with the help of the box model we connected, the face detailer identifies the area in the image that has a face, here we see the mask that is created around the face, which defines where the change will be made, and here we see the new face that is created in the area of the mask. Let's connect another node that will help us make the work more precise, and this is the SAM model, I choose the SAM loader, here too we need a specific model, which is usually installed automatically the first time you work with this node, in any case I will also leave a link to this model in the description of the video. You can see that once we connected the SAM model, our mask is now only on the face and not square around the face, which will give a more accurate change. Let's put the original image next to the image with the face detailer, and you can see that in the original image the character is smiling, which can add interest to the final result, and if you'll notice, at the bottom of the face detailer node we have a text line where you can write a prompt, so let's write smiling and press Q. And as you can see we now got a smiling face, I want to sharpen the final result a bit, so I add the image contrast adaptive sharpening, and this is the result we got. Another thing that you can play with is the guide size that allows you to change the resolution or the amount of detail in the change area, I will increase it to 1024. And you can see that we get a slightly different result, a high resolution will not always blend well with the original image, so you should check it per image. Now let's see how you can change the facial expressions of a certain character from an existing photo. I load an image with load image node and connect it to face detailer. Let's also change the positive prompt to match the current image, and press Q. 
and you can see that the change of the face is significant and blends in well, but it really doesn't look like the character we uploaded, to fix it, we can play with the denoise. The lower the denoise, the closer we will get to the original image, and on the other hand, it will be more difficult for us to get a big change. Now we will write angry and now she looks angrier. Let's try closed eyes, and you can see that she is trying to close her eyes, but this is really not the desired result, and this happens because the denoise is very low, so we will increase the denoise and try again, and here we got closed eyes. In short, a very powerful tool that allows us not only to correct a distorted face in the image, but also to have very different facial expressions for the same character, and this has no effect on the composition and the other parts of the picture. So I hope you learned and we will meet in the next lessons. You are of course welcome to ask questions, subscribe to the channel, and like, if you liked it. And most importantly, have fun. Bye.